Okay, so it's uh, 8 38 p.m. Uh, was it Thursday? Thursday, it's uh, yet July 2020. So, I want to talk a bit about my diet. And this is sort of the reason I want to talk about it because I've been eating a lot of uh, these vegan pizzas and um, for some strange reason for the past three days I've been eating a lot of like junk food and this isn't something I eat because I had a very strict diet where I would just eat the veggie stew and the, my bread meal and actually before I went to the dentist on July 16th. Uh, I was having a problem with eating properly. I was only eating bread most of the time and I was drinking coffee. And One good thing I guess from staying at the hospital is that I, I have stopped drinking coffee. <laughs> so I've been meaning to do that for a while so I haven't drunk any coffee for a while and I hope, to, hope it stays that way. Uh, I don't know why I've been eating a lot of junk food. You know, like uh, vegan ice cream and thing. And, uh, I mentioned the word vegan because when I was in the hospital, uh, like I hadn't eaten in that f a few days, and I was like, oh, I think I was so hungry. Like I was fantasizing about eating McDonald's and stuff like that. I was like, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, why am I still a vegan? What's the point? Why am I doing this? And um. And I'm thinking, like, why don't I just eat meat? What's what? I mean, what's the point of being a vegan? Why am I doing this? And I was like, I was fat. So I guess I was just really hungry because I hadn't eaten. But then I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't think I can eat meat because then I think about the uh, the animals, and I'm like, why the fuck do I want to eat meat when the the, the, the the factory farming? And I remember that scene, and then what's that? There was these like lamb, like uh, like all these little lambs outside, and they were all in a bunch because they were going to be taken to the slaughter thing. And I'm like, man, that's just so fucked up. Um. So anyway, um. So good that I, I you know, I, I still decided, yeah, I'm not gonna eat meat, but I have been eating a lot of like vegan pizzas and the pizzas have sub substitute like you know the vegan meat and like, like you know made out of I don't know whatever plant-based uh, thing substitute for actually I uh, today I ordered like a, a vegan sausage <laughs> I don't know it's like all this junk food uh, I haven't I don't really eat a lot of junk food but I've been eating a lot of junk food um, past week or so and also like in a very long time I, I bought like this uh, cider you know like alcoholic drink cider uh, I googled up and apparently this one was a uh, some award winner so it's apple cider uh, so I've, I've drunk that why am I doing all this why am I eating all of this food I guess I don't know, maybe a part of my, I think my body is craving food, maybe because it is so restricted and I feel like now, because I've, you know, dealing with my tooth and stuff, I'm like, okay, now I can just, let me just eat properly, you know. Maybe that's why my, uh, I got the infection as it did, maybe because I wasn't eating properly and my body couldn't fight off the infection. So maybe that's a possible reason that, you know... Uh, I don't know, but if I kept to my veggies too, I think it would have been good. But anyway, I, I, just, I just wanted to like mix my diet up a bit. I, I've been eating like, like for instance, this is something my mom bought. It's like a organic uh, dairy-free ice cream, gluten-free, dairy-free, banana and caramel. So I, I, I ate half yesterday and today I finished the other half. Oh, shit. They always put this shit. That's one thing I don't like about it. It's like, you see how they say... Uh, what does it say? I'll read. 
this is a natural product made in Australia using imported ingredients made in a facility that also handles dairy, egg, soy, peanuts and tree nuts. See that's the thing, you know, they this is they make in the same facility. Keep frozen below minus 18 degrees centigrade. So it's you know, it's look at that. It's gluten free, dairy free, guilt free, soy free, refined, sugar free. So this is I guess this is a you know, it's made of it's it's got what coconut milk, sixty three percent coconut sugar, caramel ripple nine percent. Oh, anyway, so it's, uh, I feel like coconut milk is a substitute for dairy. So so this is like junk food, you know, plant based junk food. Uh, I also ate a little bit of another ice cream. It's also like coconut, uh, vanilla, something. It's also like a plant based. But so I've been eating a lot of this junk food, and I've I've, I've started like I drank like a, a beer today, like no cider, and I've been googling like what's the best beer. What's <laughs> why am I doing this? I've been I've been so restricted and focused with my diet and it's like this past week or so I've been like fuck it I'm not just gonna eat like and I guess another thing is like uh, because of the I'm not drinking coffee I can I can I can fo focus on eating only once a day you know over a few hours so that way I can do the um, diet thing where you know I don't what do you call that diet keto diet Ugh, I don't know what do you call that diet where you you don't eat for 16 hours and then you eat with that kind of diet. Anyway, um, no, oh uh, yeah, to, uh, tomorrow I have got to go to the uh, hospital. Oh shit, I haven't put my earrings back. Look at the cat scan. Did I mention that I threw up after the cat scan? Like when they did the cat scan, it was like they put this iodine iodine in you uh, and when I was in there I was like oh man I, I just wanted I, I just couldn't hold it uh, and I actually threw up anyway tomorrow I've got to go uh, to do a follow-up thing the thing is like see here it's like okay this is all soft but over here it's like there's this kind of uh, this kind of um, like a it's like a hard kind of lump, you know, it's like where they uh, did the, you know, they did the thing. It's been there for a while now, I wonder if they if we have to do a CAT scan, maybe they have to surgically remove it, I don't know, I mean. Alright, I've got to go to my, um, I made an appointment to see my dentist in the coming Tuesday to do stage two of the root canal, because I've only done stage one. Stage two, she told me, was when the actual root canal take place because in the first stage they removed the the stuff, the nerves. So there was not, so the nerves are removed, but it's, but they only put a temporary kind of filling or something, uh, antibacterial filling. So anyway, so I've got to do stage two on Tuesday, and I've got to go and give my blood work because I think I need my implant. You know, my extra estradiol implant because when I was in the hospital one of the doctors said oh did you do you take HRT and I'm like yes yes I take HRT but probably because they checked my blood and they probably found my uh, estrogen levels were low or something I don't know they didn't tell me exactly but I was like oh yes I have but I have an implant and things like that <sighs> anyway That hospital experience was not really the uh, most fun for me. It was like, oh, this I think the ice. When you're in the ICU, you have the whole room to yourself, so that's okay. You know, it's just the whole room to myself. But when they take you out of the ICU, they put you in a room with uh, three other people, and it's like, oh, where's my privacy? And um, 
I just I just stayed by myself. I didn't talk to anybody, but you know, there were these people were talking and I was like eh. I was just like, you know, I had the curtains drawn and in my own little space. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let me do some